Hey guys, Lister, and welcome to another Minecraft Twilight Force video here on the channel. Now, if you missed last week's, we um, kind of explored the Goblin Knight Stronghold, and today we're going to be taking on the Knight Phantom Army. So, the Knight Phantoms reside in the brick-layered room in the Goblin Knight Stronghold. They appear as ghostly pieces of phantom armor that appear to have spooky, ghost-like look when attacking. So, we're going to be sort of running into that room. That room is right up ahead. I also just realized I need a pickaxe, apparently, to break in. Let me just give myself a nice fiery wood pickaxe. Or, what's this thing called? Fiery pickaxe. Um, and they're right ahead. We're going to be doing this in survival mode. That's why I've got my trusty gold or er, gold diamond armor on and my hydro trophy head. Uh, and we're going to sort of be breaking into the place and trying our best to defeat him. I don't know why I keep saying Urgas at the top. That's like, it's like glitched with that boss bar because I'm near it. Um, but yeah, we're going to be sort of going through attacking them and then I'll read off kind of like the treasure they can drop and stuff after we beat them. But if you guys have been enjoying the mob battles here, mob battles, oh my gosh, if you guys have been enjoying the Twilight Forest videos on the channel, be sure to smash the like button, show your support, maybe consider subscribing if you are new. And yeah, without further ado, let's break into this place. So it's pretty creepy. Also, there's like obsidian layers here. Uh, and it didn't even take me too long to find this. I kind of just went to spectator mode. But yeah, let's let's do this. Alright. It's spawning them in. And I'm just going to kill them off one by one. They're... Oh, you're hitting me. And I'm pretty sure that's it, right? Yeah, we beat them. Alright, so yeah. Pretty much how this place works is there are six graves. And you have to sort of individually beat... Um, each uh, phantom that rises from the grave and then once you beat them all you will be awarded a chest in the center and if you open as you can see we have the knight phantom trophy which can i put that on my head <gasps> i can all right amazing so the knight we also have some like phantom helmets and chest plates some uh swords we have a pickaxe two pickaxes actually which look very unique i'm actually going to use that instead of uh, our current pickaxe let's actually grab the efficiency one um but yeah, so the treasure, once you've killed all six of the night phantoms, a treasure chest will appear in the middle of the battle arena. The chest will contain most of the phantom's gear, such as the knightly we weapons, armor, and the night phantom trophy. Sometimes the night phantoms will also drop their own equipment, which unfortunately did not happen, but I didn't have looting or anything. Um, uh, these are damaged, but not, and not as well enchanted as the loot chest. Uh, if you have immersive engineering installed, which is a different mod, the loot chest will contain a, a twilight, twilight shader grab bag and a twilight shader, uh, night phantom. So that's pretty cool. Progression. As you guys know, the only way to get to this place is to go through the dark forest. Um, after killing the twilight lich, and then you can enter the stronghold. Defeating the night phantoms will allow you to interact with the dark tower of the dark forest, which, as you know, is probably the next place we are going to, I think? I sort of, on the wiki page, I have, like, a, it's like a progression list that tells you where you have to go next. So, I'm not entirely sure if that's where we're going to be heading next, but you'll have to tune in for next week's video to find out, or next time, I guess, I record this. I shouldn't say next week, because sometimes I do these more than once a week. But yeah, if you're wondering what's underneath these, if you open them... There isn't anything crazy, it's just, you know, its own thing. Now, what's interesting is, I don't know what block used to be on top of this, but these are stone slabs, which are a new block. So, I'm not entirely sure what used to be, kind of like on the graves, but it's pretty cool that they that they have update Twilight Forest. And I did hear the Twilight Forest is going to be coming to 1.17 as well. That's at least what they plan on doing, so... It's going to be fun to play this mod in, like, newer versions. Like, they they um, had this time where they didn't weren't really updating it, and now it seems like they are really back on track again. So I'm really excited for that. But, yeah, that's pretty much all there is for this video. I just kind of wanted to show the boss fight off and sh show you guys what kind of happens in it. Um, and, yeah, so if you guys did enjoy, definitely smash the like button, share your support, consider subscribing if you are new. And I'll catch you guys next time for another uh, Twilight Forest Guide video. And the previous guides will be linked either in the card at the end of the video or in the description so feel free to check those out as well and i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day have a great summer stay safe goodbye